Hello friends, welcome again to Fresh Manor from Albert L Ministries. I'd like to read from Luke chapter 13 verses 6 to 9. This is what it says. And he told this parable, A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. And he said to the vine dresser, Lo, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? And he answered him, Let it alone, sir, this year also, till I dig about it and put on manure. And if it bears fruit next year, well, and good. If not, you can cut it down. I'd like to liken this story to God the Father has planted a fig tree in his church. I'm going to look at the vineyard as his church. So the fig tree, I'm going to look at as you and me. Now God the Father has put you and me in the church and he's put us to bear fruit. And every time he comes into the church, he looks for what fruit have we brought to him. Many times he comes and he finds nothing. Now when I say fruit, I'm looking in this passage, I'd like to liken the word fruit to souls. So God the Father is coming, seeking, constantly are we bringing souls into his kingdom. And finding none, he says, why, why are you coming Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, warming up the chairs, filling up the hall, and there's, there's not, no additions, no work being done. And then I see a merciful scene over here where the, the vineyard dresser says, let it alone one more year. So in this one more year, and perhaps we are still in the very early part of the year 2022, it's a nice way of looking at when a grace period for this one more year, grace and mercy extended. I'm looking at the vine dresser as the Holy Spirit who comes and he says, I'm, I'm going to try to do something with this person. But if they, and if they work well and good, if they don't, throw them out. Now, I would like to look at this as a warning. And this message I have titled, Barrenness in the Church. Barrenness in the church, perhaps if we go to many of the churches, and I like to use the word congregations, because most of congregations you go to is Sunday after Sunday the same people. Very rare you find more people being added. And God the Father is coming, seeking for souls. That's why he sent Jesus. There's nothing more which he could do, which he has not already done. So, friends, let's take this as a warning. Either we buck up, we find some way to do. All of us cannot do the same thing. All of us cannot preach. All of us cannot pray. All of us cannot uh, serve tables. But all of us can do something or the other. Let's look for our part and see how we can build God's kingdom. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father that you will fill our hearts with a passion for building up your kingdom, filling up the church of Jesus Christ with souls afresh every day, every month and every year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.